This video describes a vibration check system for aircraft engines. The system was developed by Bull and Kerr in close cooperation with Turbomeca according to the specifications in the Turbomeca maintenance manual. The aim of a vibration check system is to ensure the maintenance of helicopter engines and to optimize the uptime of the aircraft. The measurement involves an on-the-ground run-up of the engine and a comparison of measured first order levels to specified limits. A vibration check on helicopter engines is performed for the following reasons. The helicopter is due for test after a certain number of flight hours stipulated by the engine manufacturer. This could be 100 or 500 hours. Another reason might be that the crew has the impression that the engine does not sound or feel quite right. The system is based on the Ball and Care Pulse Analyzer and a dedicated application package. Vibration measurements are made according to the maintenance procedures specified by Turbomeca, one of the world's leading turbine manufacturers. The procedures specify precisely how the vibration check should be performed. It is always necessary to measure two TACO signals to obtain the speeds of the turbine and of the gas generator. Depending on the helicopter engine, either one or two accelerometer measurements are required. The result of the measurement is a report in a predefined format. Let's see how this is done in practice. After the engine cowling has been opened, one or two accelerometers are mounted on the triangular flanges provided for that purpose. The accelerometer is bolted down with three screws to ensure the reliability of the vibration measurement. Special cables resistant to high temperature are now fitted to the accelerometers. The tachometer signals from the engine are accessed by detaching the relevant cable and inserting the equivalent of a T connector, the so-called harness. For safety reasons, these tachometer signals, taken from the helicopter's own electrical system, are completely isolated from the rest of the vibration check measurement system. Here we see the harness being installed on the gas generator, and here on the power turbine. After the cables have been attached to the engine, the pulse vibration check system, in its water and shockproof case, is placed in the cockpit on the back seat. The cables are connected to the clearly marked input sockets. The cables are fastened with cable ties. The engine cowling is closed. The operator enters the cockpit and the helicopter doors are closed. The vibration check measurement may now commence. While the pilot is preparing a two to three minute run up of the engine with the aircraft on the ground, the operator launches the dedicated vibration check software. The measurement procedure is straightforward. The operator only has to follow the tasks listed in the taskbar. The first task is identify, which enables the identification of the engine type, the aircraft ID, and the name of the operator. The next step in the taskbar leads to the monitor window where the operator presses start to verify that all signals are getting through to the analyzer. In the measurement task window we select the engine under test and enter its serial number. This identification is essential for the test report, for the engine's logbook, and for the possible further analysis. The measurement is now started and the pilot is given a signal to run the engine up to 100% speed. This normally takes two to three minutes. During the run-up, the vibration levels of the first order of each shaft are measured and compared to the limits stipulated by Turbomeca for this particular engine. The limits can be flat, or vary as a function of frequency. In this situation, we see a flat limit over the whole frequency range. 
After the measurement has been completed, a passed or failed indication is given. And the report is automatically generated in a standardized format. The vibration check system can be used for the following helicopters and engine types, and more are under development. In the case of an exceedance occurring, the raw time data can be stored onto a CD and sent to TurboMecha Technical Center for further analysis. At the TurboMecha Technical Center, the data on the CD can be read into a pulse system, which acts as a vibration-based diagnostic system with all the capabilities of the pulse application toolbox. One tool which is particularly useful is the contour plot of frequency, time and amplitude for the vibration on the gas generator and on the power turbine. Such contour plots visualize simultaneously all the harmonics of the two shafts as a function of their rotational speed, that is the orders, as well as the different resonances excited during the complete run-up. To summarize, the vibration check system has the following benefits. 1. The dedicated system was developed for use by maintenance personnel. Two. The measurements are performed according to TurboMaker's maintenance manual. Three, the vibrationary behavior of the engine is immediately indicated after the measurement and documented in a report. Four, the raw time data can be stored and sent to TurboMaker for further analysis.